Math is a simple game that starts with counting apples, and ends with you completing quests dealing with the fabric of reality. The difference between math and every other game, though, is that math is objective. There's no semi-right answer, you're just wrong. If I asked you what was the answer to this problem, most of you would say 6, but if I gave you this English problem, most of you would have no idea. Now that you've unpaused the video, there is no right answer, because they're all right. Even though I haven't finished the game yet, I thought I'd give a walkthrough of the game so far. Uh, Difficulty-wise, I'd probably put it right under Dark Souls. So once you finally load up the game, for the first five levels of your journey you have to go through a tutorial, where you learn numbers and count apples. Uh, this is where you learn your auto attack. If you're stuck in this part, you might have encountered a bug. Uh, some people go through faster than others, but um, at the moment there's no current fix. So in that case, consider switching to the Arts and Crafts expansion pack. You don't learn many new skills until level 10, where you're no longer seeing apples, but you end up seeing letters in math. Uh, this perk is actually called Algebra, which is Latin for good luck finding X. After mastering the Algebra 1 skill tree, you learn the basics of geometry. Uh, just note that the algebra doesn't go away, you're still trying to find X. Uh, most of geometry is just proving your apple is just a bunch of triangles. Uh, the other part is learning how to draw the actual apple. So at this point, you get introduced to specials sine, cosine, and tangent, or what the natives call Sokotoa. Uh, you're now more concerned about the length of the shadow of the apple than the actual apple itself. So you made good progress in the game, and you should be around level 15 at this point and you should have unlocked something called Calculus, the new game plus of Algebra. Uh, it's important to note here that most people delay unlocking this mode to focus on their earlier quests, but it's all based on the player. Uh, what I find unique about this game is that your earlier skills are still being used even in this mode, and math gets progressively harder from here. Now, in the game, instead of focusing on how many apples there are, you now focus on how fast the apple is moving. Um, I didn't know apples could move on their own, but I guess that's just how Calculus is. Uh, better ask Albert Einstein that. Or maybe it was Newton, I forgot. Uh, calculus is about change, derivatives, and integrals, and as you work your way up to multivariable calculus, you get introduced to more than just apples like oranges and bananas. Uh, I remember my math teacher telling us a story about his time in college, and his roommate asked him, Oh wait mate, what English class is this assignment for? And he responded with, This is a math assignment. So by now you should be well into mid-game and around level 18 to 20. Um, you start to deal with linear algebra and differential equations, and you're not even sure if you're still dealing with apples, it's more like the theoretical existence of them. So, most people have quit the game by this point, and only the most dedicated players continue on, me being one of them. Uh, the game just gets really boring after a while, and the devs are still working on adding more content, and we hope in the future the game gets more exciting. Uh, one reason though is probably because the devs try and push their other games out to you. Popular games include physics, engineering, and computer science, but uh, mostly everyone just quits. Uh, you start to reach the end game at this point, and it's still unknown what the level cap is. Uh, most players continue on, but they end up capping at around level 25, and the progression just gets slower from there. You earn less experience, and at this stage of the game you start diving into abstract math, and you try and prove if apples even exist. So there you have it. Math starts as a simple game for apples, and ends with you discovering the universe. But if you're ever stuck on a topic, the only way to get better is practice, and keep trying to level up your skills. And remember, no matter how complicated, there's always one thing in math that stays the same. Two apples plus two apples will always make a fruit salad.